What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, hey, everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight... Tonight! Uh... Well, I mean... Technically, it is his debut as a solo artist, so let, let, let's go with that. Okay, making his debut on the channel tonight... Tonight! We have... Takayoshi Omura, yes indeed, how about that? Takayoshi Omura making his debut on the channel. Before we go any further, for those of you who are feeling inclined to do all the clicks and the likes and the bibbity boobity bob, do me a favor, before you do all those things, please watch the whole video first, okay? Give me a chance to earn those clicks and likes. Now, after the video's done, if you still feel like doing all those clicks and likes, then by all means, feel free to click away. This comes as a request from Sean, and this is actually one of Sean's prioritized requests for the month of October for being a gold tier member on the Patreon page. So here you go, Sean. I hope you enjoy the show, man. Uh, Sean wanted me to check this out. It is Takayoshi Omura with a tune called Never Surrender. Now, have I heard the song before? No, I have not. To the best of my knowledge, this does not resonate with me in any way, shape, or form. However, there's always a possibility I may have heard the song in passing and I just don't realize it. So as always, if I start listening to the song and I suddenly go, wait a second, I recognize this, I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This was posted by Simon Says. <laughs> what? Oh, these names, man. And the video has 283,165 views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the video description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go all right here we go takayoshi omura ec2 never surrender live at jaboya rex okay <laughs> so it's live that's always a good thing all right let's do this all right boy let's do this well, I never surrender. I'm a little confused. Um, there's a lot of people on stage. Like, there, there's enough people on stage for it to be considered two bands. So I, I it, 
is this one of those times where you got like two bands on stage doing a song together? It here's the thing, I, I that's not mentioned anywhere in the title. It, it's not like uh, Takayoshi Omura's band with this band. You know, it's just all it says is Takayoshi Omura. So I, I don't know what's going on here. I, I don't know if there's two bands or if this is just one very large band. And that, to me, is a serious overkill. I mean, you got one, two, three, four guitar players, a bass player, two vocalists, and a drummer. I mean, is it overkill? Yes, it, it's definitely overkill. But, I mean, it sounds good. So, I'm just, I, I don't know. I, I don't know what to make of this. I'm just really confused right now. Um. <laughs> it does sound good. It, it it does sound good. It sounds tight. So anyway, uh, let, let's keep going here. Soloing smorgasbord, dear lord. Um, all the solos were great. Don't get me wrong; I mean, they were all fantastic. <laughs> I was really glad to see that everybody was switching off, though. It wasn't just like one or two doing everything. It, it, everybody got a chance. And here's the thing: everybody got equal chance. Everybody came up and did eight measures. So, eight measures. Next person, eight measures. Next person, eight measures. Next person, eight measures. Round two, eight measures, eight measures, eight measures, eight measures. That was cool. I, I, I was glad to see that. I'm glad to see it wasn't all just focused on, you know, one or two people. I'm glad everybody got a chance to shine. That's important. That's really important. Um, I'm going to go on a limb. I, I, I'm going to go on a limb here. Um, the person who did the third and the seventh solo. So, you know, round one, he was the third person. Round two, he was also the third person. I'm guessing, because he looks familiar. I mean, I, I know in Baby Metal, he wears the, the face paint and everything like that, but he looks familiar. His facial structure looks familiar. 
I'm going to go on a limb. And I'm going to say that that's Takayoshi Amura. I, I could be wrong about that. I More than likely I am. But it looks like it, it looks like the only person I recognize. I don't recognize anybody else. He's the only one that looks familiar. So I'm going to go on a limb and I'm going to say that's him. Now, I, like I said, I'm probably wrong. <laughs> and I'm sure you guys will let me know in the comments. But, uh... The reason I'm mentioning him is that sweet picking was sick. That sick that sweet picking was on point. And if I remember correctly, I think I said the same thing about him in one of the baby metal videos. I think it was the uh, one for uh, uh, Rondo of Nightmare. I think when they did the uh, um, they did that guitar, they did that solo intro with uh, the members of the the comedy band doing their doing their solo stuff at the beginning. Uh, and I remember one of them just having some ridiculous sweet picking. I think it was the same guy. So, anyway, um, let's finish this out and we'll get to the review. Yeah, this is the guy I'm talking about right here. I think that's Takayoshi. I'm not sure, but I think that's him. Interesting. Uh, let me think about it. Uh, and when you when you break it down to its bare essentials, there really isn't a lot to talk about. But if I take everything from a technical aspect into account, there's going to be a ton to talk about. So I don't know which way this is going to go. I'm thinking keeping it short and sweet. I think I'm gonna just keep it short and sweet, but I don't know. I may be wrong, and I may go off on a tangent. I don't know. Listen, I, I have no plan going into this. I, I have no plan whatsoever. I, it's like Mike Tyson once said, "Everybody's got a game plan until they get punched in the mouth." And he's, he's absolutely right. You know, you, I have a game plan, sort of, <laughs> in my head right now. But I mean, I'm gonna start talking during the review, and who knows what's gonna happen. So, um. Let me get my thoughts together. I'll see you in the review, and we'll, we'll we'll see how this goes. Well, there you go, folks. That was Takayoshi Omoda with Never Surrender. This was a request from Sean, and this was actually one of Sean's prioritized requests from the month of October for being a gold tier member on the Patreon page. So, there you go, Sean. I hope you enjoyed the show, man. Um, <laughs> I thought about this, and... There's two sides to this, and I guess I gotta talk about both of them. Um, one of them, one of those halves is gonna be really short. The other half is gonna be a little lengthy. So I, I don't know. Well, I'll see how short I can keep the lengthy part. But anyway, um, let's get to it. On a scale of one to ten, I'm gonna give that an eight point four. 
Yep, 8.4. I feel good about that score. Let me tell you why. Why? Okay, as I was saying, there are two parts to this. There is the songwriting part, and then there's the musicianship part. I'm going to start with the songwriting part first. It's the short part, okay? This is, this is the short thing. <sighs> I know a lot of people are going to listen to the musicianship, and they're going to confuse musicianship with songwriting. And I'm really kind of hoping that I can help explain this in a way that really makes the two very obviously separate so people don't get the two confused. From a songwriting standpoint, I'm talking about the chordal structure, the chordal flow, the melodic lines, the, the time signature, the tempo, all this stuff, all uh, the, the song writing aspect, okay? Very simple song. It's a very simple song, easy to follow, okay? It is not a complex song to write in any way, shape, or form. It is not a complex song to follow in any way, shape, or form. It's a really easy song, okay? There was really nothing impressively done about the songwriting. It, it, it's pretty, I, I don't want to I don't want to say standard, but I mean, you, you hear a lot of songs that follow the same chordal structure, the same chordal flow, uh, the same phrasing, the same you know, stru song structure even. I mean, chorus, pre-chorus, uh, verse, pre-chorus, chorus, verse, pre-chorus, chorus, solo section, you know, and then, you know, going to the pre-chorus, chorus, to end it out. It, it's it's not hard, it's, it's not hard to follow at all. It's a really easy, simple song, okay? Well done, well constructed, but simple, easy to follow. Nothing impressive whatsoever. I would give the song alone, just, just the song, the song writing, I would give it somewhere in the low sevens, probably, if I'm being honest here, okay? Now, the musicianship. Here's where the curveball comes into play. The musicianship on this song was outstanding. Now, mostly, mostly due to the guitar playing. Okay, let, let's be honest here. Let's call a spade a spade. What was the most impressive thing about this? Those four guitar players, okay? All, all accomplished musicians clearly there was not one solo that was done by any of those four that sounded weak or that sounded simple or that sounded um apart from what everybody else was doing everybody was pretty much on the same level as far as their soloing goes um all the solos were very impressively done they all knocked it out of the park. I mean, everybody sounded great doing the solos. Fantastic job on all of the solos. Um, and that that's all four of them. I will say the the third one and the seventh one, uh, who I believe is Takayoshi Amura. I, I believe that's him. Like I said, he's the only one up there that looked familiar. And I do remember his face from uh, the comedy band watching the Baby Metal reactions. He does look familiar. Now, I could be completely wrong about that, but I, I do feel pretty confident saying that. So, look, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. And I'll be the first to admit it. But, you know, I, I, like I said, out of all the faces I saw up there, his was the only one that kind of struck me and went, wait a minute, he looks familiar, you know, kind of thing. So I, I'm assuming that's him. Uh, his solo in particular, with that the second solo that he did uh, on round two, so he'd be the seventh solo. Um, and that's sweet picking. Oh, man. <laughs> That sweet picking was intense. It was really well done, so I, I gotta give it to him. Um, and that's not to discredit anybody else's soloing. Everybody else's soloing was fantastic, too. Um, the vocals on this. Now, if I'm being honest here, I'm a little confused on those vocals. Now, we had the one guy who was doing the lead, clearly the lead vocalist. I mean, it was very obvious because the other guy didn't do any vocals at all other than hype. He was just doing the, you know, just, just doing the, hey, 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 that's all he did. Now, here's the thing. We heard harmonies in the vocals. Who was doing them? Because it wasn't the second guy. You know, when you, when you heard the harmonies, the second guy's mic was down here by in front of his waist. So he wasn't doing the harmonies. Was the drummer doing the harmonies? I didn't see a mic in front of the drummer. But then again, I never really got a good shot and look at the drummer, you know, behind the kit. So I, I don't know if there was a mic stand there or not. There may have been, and maybe he was doing the harmonies. I'm not sure. 
The only other option was is track. You know, they were doing track harmonies, which is fine. I got no problem with that. But if you're going to use track harmonies, your vocals better be spot on because the track is not going to be sharp or flat, you know? <laughs> so if, if the harmonies are sounding a little bit out, it ain't the track's fault. It's the lead singer. You know, the, obviously it's his fault. But I was hearing harmonies. So I'm sitting here going, okay, it's not the second guy. His mic's down in front of his waist. So who's doing harmonies? Either the drummer or it's track? One of the two. But the, the vocals were really well done. I liked them. They sounded really good. Very, very stylistically, very fitting of the style of song that they were doing. So, I mean, it, it didn't stick out like a sore thumb at all. Uh, it sounded really good. Um, the bass kind of got drowned out, if I'm being honest. But then again, with four guitar players up there, I mean, I'm not 100% surprised by that. I mean, the bass player, let's be honest here, he had no chance. <laughs> he had no chance at all of being heard but i mean he was still up there he was still playing obviously but i mean it, it he was i hate to say it but he was kind of a non-factor uh as far as what i could hear now as far as what's going on stage i'm sure the bass player has him i'm, I'm sure the bass player is going into the drummer's in-ears and the drummer could hear him and that's important you know the drummer and the bass player have got to lock in and it but what i could tell they were locked in i mean it, i didn't see anything i did I, you know, I obviously couldn't hear it but I, I, I couldn't see anything, or not, nothing gave me the sense of they weren't. So I can only assume that they were, so good on them. Um, I The last thing is, I, I'm just, I'm really confused as to what is going on there. Is this the band? Is this the is this Takayoshi Amura's band? All those people on stage, four guitar players, one bass player, one drummer, two vocalists. So that would be eight people in the band. I mean, it's not unheard of. I, I've seen I've seen eight people. Hell, I've seen I've seen nine, ten, twelve people in the band before. I mean, it, it's not on. It's not like it's not commonplace, but it's also not. I mean, it is a little unusual, I suppose. But it, it's not impossible. Like I said, I, I've seen bands with nine, ten, even twelve people in the band. So it, it's not unheard of. It's unusual. <laughs> So I'm just curious, is this is this his band? Is this it, all those people on stage? Was that all one band or was it two bands coming together to perform this song? I'm not sure. Here's the thing, if, okay, here's the giveaway. Here's the dead giveaway. And this is why I can't believe I'm gonna say this. I'm kind of leaning toward it being one band. There was only one bass player on the stage. Now, having one, when you have two bands come together, only having one drummer, that makes perfect sense. It makes perfect sense. And you really should only have one bass player. But usually, when you see two bands come together on stage, you'll usually will see both bass players on the stage. You usually will. So, I only saw the one. So that either means they did the smart thing and they left one of the bass players off the stage, which is the smart thing to do, or this is one band. I don't know. I, I have no idea. Um, I'm sure you guys in the comments will let me know and I will greatly appreciate that because I could definitely use the clarification. <laughs> but listen, in any case, um, the musicianship on this was outstanding. Uh, some amazing solo work, some fantastic solo work. And the song did, I mean, with all those people on stage, there's a lot of opportunities for things to go wrong, but nothing, from what I could hear, nothing went wrong. It all sounded really good. So I would give that like in the nines, like the musicianship I would put up in the nines, no problem. So you got, you know, low nines, and you got, you know, low sevens, and you bring them together, you know, and you get, in my opinion, an 8.4. So that's where we're at. That's where we're gonna stay. So 8.4, final score, I have spoken. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully, I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and bright your day, then I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you guys feel like joining the fan base, go ahead and click on that button down there. If you guys want to like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you guys want to ring the bell, go ahead and ring the bell. It honestly doesn't make any difference at all to me, but if you guys feel like doing these things, then by all means, feel free to do so. Well, that's going to do it for tonight, folks. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later. Peace.